It's a very interesting scenario when they joke about my accent. But I do speak Singhala, but I don't feel comfortable speaking Singhala. How do you feel about uh, you being adopted? So I don't feel adopted at all. I feel trafficked and I feel like I was misplaced on purpose. So I don't really relate to the feeling of adoption that I can see other people who is legally adopted. Sons of sense. And because I started to question this very, very early at age, and I'm one of the youngest people that I ever requested a reunification, I didn't grow up with this adoption narrative where I was saved and I was having this beautiful life. I was sort of suffering because I realized that I was away from my roots, I was away from my family in Sri Lanka, and I wanted to know how my mother was doing. And I couldn't comprehend the thought of everyone caring for me but leaving my mother behind because she was left to suffer from a life that I was saved from. So if everyone was caring for her, this woman that I've carried on a child for nine months and was breastfeeding and having these challenges, I couldn't understand why they saved me from someone who was breastfeeding me and really trying everything in her power to take care of me. So that sort of feeling led me into a depression very early because I knew that my mother might be somewhere suffering.